American. <laughs> you come to the north side, the Italian side, and you want American coffee, you, you're funny. So you don't have American? Oh, no, I have it. It's just funny, that's all I'm saying. Oh, if you don't like making it, I'll take an espresso. I'll make both. You tell me which one you like better. No, you don't have to do that. No, 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 I insist. Thank you. You aren't from around here, are you? What well, gave me away? Well, I make coffee for all kinds of people in this town. And I tell you what, people come in here, they don't need to order. I know what they like. As a matter of fact, it's really rare when I can't tell what kind of coffee someone likes. Well, from now on, you can count me as an espresso regular. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. So, tell me, stranger, what brings you to town? Just passing through. Guess you could say I haven't found my place yet. Hmm. You keep looking. You're gonna find it someday. Thanks, old timer. I'm here to collect my monthly contribution, old man. Greedy bastard. You don't need this. I don't need it for anything. You need it for protection. I don't need protection from you. <laughs> I don't think you understand. If I don't get your monthly contribution, I won't be able to support you under any unfortunate circumstances. You threatening me in my shop? Leave him alone. You throwing rocks at me, stranger? Assholes, all of them. We don't pay them, they'll torch our stores. How long has this been happening? Uh, the last few months, but, but they're expanding. They'll keep going and going until they have this whole town under their belts. <laughs> Be a little more reasonable. Who knows what could have happened. tell you not to talk to strangers? Only the bad ones. You're nice. You're not from around here. No, no I'm not. You can stay at my house. Hey, don't grab me. Please stay with us. I need to pay you back for helping me. I don't want anything. Please. Alright, fine. Awesome! Awesome! I told him he could stay here. Hmm. We don't know him. He won't even give us his name. Well, maybe uh, you could help us out. And in return, we could let you stay here for now. I suppose that could work. How's that sound? Thank you. You're welcome. I'll prepare dinner. Find something to keep him occupied. I've got just the thing. So 
So did you know that guy? Not necessarily. Then why did you help him? Because it was the right thing to do. Weren't you scared? No. But they have guns. Do you have a gun? Is that why you- Stop asking so many questions. I just wanted to know. What he does or doesn't have is his business, not ours. I don't carry guns, kid. I hate guns. How is it? Best I've had. Thank you, ma'am. You're very welcome. I do love a boy with proper manners. Hey, I have good manners. On a good day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to ask. Where did you come by that sword of yours? My sword? Yes. My best friend gave it to me years ago as a birthday present. I returned the favor and gave him one as well. He was a pretty good sparring partner, too. Was? I don't see him much anymore. Did he die? Joey. It's okay, ma'am. We took different paths after high school, but I keep this sword to remember him as he was, and as he is today. I miss him. Don't you know you could have hurt somebody with this thing? Look. Besides, you're holding it wrong. Huh? Don't straighten your arms. Keep them bent so the recoil doesn't get you. And close one eye for better accuracy. <laughs> I don't like having it. But it's just in case I ever have to use it. Not everyone likes to fight fair. But why bother carrying the sword? Guns are distasteful. The mark of an honorable warrior is shown in swordsmanship. But anyone who has to resort to firearms doesn't deserve honor. Have you ever used it? Not yet. When do you think you'll have to? Only when I have no choice. I'll fight honorably until the very end, however. Those who fight dishonorably deserve to die a dishonorable death. What do you want? We're here to inform you of our rise in prices. It's 200 extra. Make it 300. Did you have another body under your roof? I was just leaving. Oh, where are you now? Joey! 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 Ah! You're going! Come on! Come on! Come on! So this changes things. Meet us five o'clock, double our money. Or you're never gonna see this kid again. You know the spot. Where's he going? There's a drop off point near the east end of town. It's their territory. <laughs> Well, well, well. 
Look who decided to show up. You here to pay the debt for this kid? I'm here to negotiate. <laughs> <laughs> negotiate. Let the kid go. Take me instead. Yeah, I don't see that happening. I don't see us getting along. Besides, the kid's young, inexperienced. He's at the perfect age to be manipulated. That won't happen. I don't have a better idea. How about I just take both of you? Yeah. I like the way that sounds. Get him. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Don't move, stranger! Let the kid go. I have worked long and hard to make a name for myself. I will not let my reputation be ruined by anyone, especially you! Close your eyes, kid. What are you to these people? I protect them! By threatening to burn their houses down and kidnapping their kids if they fail to bow down and pay their ransom? You're not a protector, you're a bully. Shut your mouth! I will blow this kid's head off! You're pathetic. You fought me with honor and lost. You can't win unless you have an advantage over me. You have a hostage with a gun to his head, and that's dishonorable. And those who fight dishonorably deserve to die a dishonorable death. Jason? So your name's Jason? I haven't gone by that name in a long time. I like it. Let's go home. <laughs> 